Hello, I'm Brother Terry, age uh, 48, 48 and a half. Um, I'm from the future, and um, we're here uh, for this power of the dinner. For the children mostly, I mean, we're just trying to spread power. And I was looking to try to just uh, maybe get some free food. I don't get to eat a lot in my profession. Um, I do stay outside of this establishment on a regular basis. Hey, you say you stay outside of this establishment, do you live outside? Like uh, I kinda, I'd like to say I live everywhere. You know, I'm always home. Brothers and sisters, welcome. May I have your attention for just one minute, please? Let's go, let's do it. Yeah! This is Strange Lewis. We started this donut shop here in St. Louis about a year and a half ago called Strange Donuts. We opened uh, October 11th, 2013, the long lines of people. We were just overwhelmed with the success and the amount of stuff that we've been able to accomplish. We've opened three stores in that time and done a bunch of really cool and crazy stuff like video games and concerts and movies. Along the way, we've also created some fun and crazy characters like Brother Terry Strange. I'm so glad you're with us. Today we're going to talk about the healing power of don'ts. They move you. They're inside you. They're inside of me. And they say I'm taking the money. I'm not. About the same time, we also launched our nonprofit, Strange Cares, and that's allowed us to give back to the same community that gave so much to us. We were approached with ways to continue to raise money for the nonprofit and kind of build its connection to the community. We were in Columbia, and actually, somebody from Forehand said Brother Terry should host a beer pairing dinner and raise some money for Strange Cares. It's power of the dinner. A dinner pairing brought to you by Strange Donuts and Four Hands Brewing Company. So we got four courses. There's four beers from Four Hands. We sold the dinner out in four days, and all the you know proceeds benefit Strange Cares. I don't know. We're about an hour out right now. Everything's going good so far. This will be fun. This will be a challenge. I look forward to it. The dinner tonight. You know, we're stepping into roles that we haven't played before. But everyone's doing their part, stepping up. Guests are gonna be arriving any moment, so we're trying to be 110% ready when that happens. Have a great experience for them as soon as they get here all the way till when they leave. The people have heard the call, they are here. It's just about 6.30 and they're starting to pour in. They're hungry, they're angry, they're mean, they're lonely, they're tired, and we're just gonna bless them. A lot of stairs, I know it's a long hike, but it's worth it. It's fun. Welcome, right this way, thank you. Thank you, Howard. We have cheese for your throat and jazz for your ears. So we got 55 people here. We're moving them into a room, trying to keep them entertained, happy. We got hors d'oeuvres, beer. The party's in the other room. We're kind of scrambling on the other side, uh, getting everything together, last minute preparations. 12 more coming. We got 12 more and then we got a full house will be seating in about five minutes. The guest list somehow keeps changing. We're trying to rearrange the seating, make sure everybody's cool and comfortable. 40 at the bar, right this one. Six, actually we could do seven here and five there, that's 12. Amidst all this, I am also trying to keep everything posted on social media. We try and like uh, create a live real-time experience to our audience that can't be here. Tweet. Corey, let's do this. Here we go. Brothers and sisters, welcome. Welcome, brothers and sisters. I hope you're already feeling the power I know I am. This is a beautiful occasion. I can, I can assure you everything has been washed, rinsed, and sanitized despite uh, its appearance, okay? When you get to your table, the first course will be there. We got a chef, she spent a lot of time. She wants to walk you through it. She wants to talk to you. She wants to just get your throat ready for it. Let's do it. We got these 50 people. We're trying to move them in. Move them into the plates. Move them where the food is. Sean, part of your two. We want to get these people pacified. We're going to need to bring IVs of food soon. I'd like to see this moving quicker. Yeah. Yes. We got to get two at a time. Two at a time, guys. Let's okay. roll. Yeah. 648. Yeah, we need to get this thing rolling through. It's got to be over by nine. Yeah, it needs to be. We are kicking people out at nine o'clock. Get out, man. Hey, at nine o'clock, oh. we're all equal, brother. Pull the table. We're out here in this street. Mm -hmm. Then what? 
tables are ready, people are in there, drinks are ready, first course is ready, and now it's time for Brother Terry to do what he does best. Brothers and sisters, welcome. May I have your attention for just one minute, please? Thank you so much for being here. I'm feeling the power. I see a lot of you guys really married up. You're way out of your league. Yeah, feeling good, feeling great, power of the dinner. I just want to introduce Chef Mary, Brother Kevin Lemp from Four Hands, and we're off. Everybody's seated, people are happy, first course is out. No complaints so far, no one choking or anything like that. Everything's going down easy. Round one, flawless, brother, in there. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. It's like a swan in the water. You swim across smooth, but under the surface, it's just, you're just going so hard just to keep afloat. With each break, Jason is running downstairs, he's doing a wardrobe change, so that's another four added to this event. I think I probably ran over 12,000 stairs tonight. Yeah, this is like the CrossFit challenge. And I probably ran 12 miles. Luckily, Jason sleeps in his brother Terry clothes, so he just has to add his, uh, quote unquote, regular clothes over those, but the transitions seem to be going pretty smooth so far. Everybody's in really good spirits. There's a bunch of people out here I've never seen before. Um, not in the shop and not even around. So it's beautiful, dude. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's showing that these there's people here that are invested in more than strange donuts. And these people are invested in giving back to our community, too. So we're giving scholarships to the kids from Girls on the Run, Trojan's Heart Foundation, and Big Brothers Big Sisters. And these are kids who are already showing initiative, you know, who may not have a lot of means, but are showing that they, they want to better themselves. And we want to be there to say, here's help, here's inspiration. I didn't graduate high school. Um, I pretty much quit school in eighth grade. And there were some people, you know, that, uh, that had some influence that ingrained in me that things are going to be okay. And one of them was, uh, was a guy from Big Brothers Big Sisters. I have a debt to pay to this city and the people that helped us become who we are and I think that I have a debt to pay to like my younger self and versions of me that feel like they don't have a way out to show them that you know there's a way out and this is the path. Like I would look at me as a kid and say if that dude can do it I can. It was education, it was entrepreneurship and it was people giving me a hand up and I want to be that hand. Strange Cares wants to be that. It's really cool to reach other people. I think a lot of people are like it's crazy what you are doing. You're doing so much. That's so cool what you do. There's not so much you as there's a lot of we in everything that we do. With Strange Cares the scholarships are really driven by passion and interest. Like Jason was saying just that initiative to go a little bit further as long as it's like you your ambition and your passion is driving that next step. We just want to be a part of that step. What I want you to take away from this more than anything is, is positivity. Power the down. Well, our work here is done. We have uh, successfully completed our first seated four course dinner. A lot of cool business owners here. Yep, we had a lot of friends uh, that helped us out and they were a big part of this uh, tonight's dinner and I think we could learn a lot from not only this evening and this dinner but hopefully a lot of those people also. I, for, I think a lot of them might be eager to share how they create opportunity. That'd be cool. Let's do it! Here we go! I know how to fix a toilet, and so does this eight-year-old.